Ah, literature. Okay. Liter literary works. Of course, literature is a written works, especially those considered as superior or last lasting artistic merit. So, any writing, I can write anything, but it should have artistic merit, or we can call it a writing, a creative writing, a creative writing. Poem can be a creative writing, novel can be a creative writing, criticism can be a creative writing. So in short, we can say literature is a form of creative writing. Okay, with the example we can publish that. Okay, so in literature you will see several uh, genre. These are called genre. The, it's a Latin word. It's the pronunciation uh, spelling is J E N R E. It's supposed to be genre, but the pronunciation is genre. There are several genres in literature, not in English literature, but in every literature of this world. That are the earliest form that is poetry, second one drama, the third one fiction, fourth one non fiction, opposite to fiction, and criticism. Okay, our concern is about fiction. You know the definition of poetry. Poetry can be two types subjective and objectives. You had many courses on poetry, just we will be telling you the differences. Epic, black, uh, ballad, metrical romances, these are the objective poetry and elegy, sonnet, ode, hymn, dramatic monologue, these are the subjective poetry. Epic is a long narrative poem, hmm, you know. Ballad is a poem or song narrating a story in short stanzas, that is ballad. Okay, metrical romances is a kind of poetry dealing with the emotion or phase of life. That is metrical romances. Drama <coughs> a play that is written to be performed on a stage. To be performed on a stage. Drama is a piece of creative art. So in in case of the definition of poem, we can say that poem is a piece of creative writing written in rhymes. That is poem. In the same way, drama we can give we can give a simplest definition that a piece of piece of creating writing to be intended to perform on stage. That is drama or play. Okay. And drama is of several kinds, comedy and tragedy, you know, and there are comedy of manners, comedy of humors, comedy of restoration comedy, heroic tragedy, revenge tragedy, and cynic and tragedy. You have also courses on dramas, so I will not be elaborating this portion, but our concern is about fiction. Fiction literature in the form of prose. So one thing is common that you provided the definition of literature. Literature is a piece of creating writing, or literature is a piece of creating writing. So we can give it poem is a piece of creating writing. Drama is a piece of creative writing. Fiction is also a piece of creative writing written in prose. Poem written in verse. Okay. And drama written intended to be performed on stage. That are the basic difference. In the fourth year, most probably you are going to sit for the Bible verse. Not most probably, of course. So in the Bible verse, on this question, you may be asked what is the definition of fiction. Okay, so so literature in the form of uh, prose, especially novels, that describes imaginary events. Imaginary yeah. events. Fiction. The word is derived from fictitious. Fictitious means imaginary. Imaginary writing. That is fiction. And imaginary events and people. So in that category, we will be getting novels, short stories, and creative writing as well. If creating writing, writing becomes fictitious, becomes imaginary, that can also be called fiction. Okay. And, but if it becomes real, that would be opposite to fiction. What it is? Non-fiction. 
Okay. So, oh, sorry. Just one. Okay. The non-fiction, opposite to fiction. So, fiction or novel, short stories might be imaginary. Non-fiction is real. And what is that? That is essay and historical writing. Historical writing, you can imagine the history. Okay. So, historical writing, of course, will be written on facts and the history. That is called non-fiction. Okay. Definition of prose, we will not be going over there. Prose is written or spoken language in the ordinary form, okay, without metrical rhymes or structures. That is prose. Okay, so there are several categories of prose, we will not be going over there, okay. And uh, in case of biography, we know that if anybody writes the life history of somebody else, that is biography and autobiography, if I write the life history of myself, that would be auto, autobiography. Auto means mine, auto, autobiography. Okay, that is folktale, a story originating in popular culture that Sarah said, that is popular culture typically uh, passed on by what to mouth. That is the focal myth, that is the symbolic narrative usually of unknown origin and at least partly traditional and that ostensibly re re relates actual events. Okay. So that is myth, legend will be there, fable will be there, okay. parable will be there and the novel. That is our concern because in our course there are five novels. So novel is a fiction first time and novel a fictitious prose narrative of book length. Book length there may be tiny book and there may be longer or a big book isn't it? Okay book length. So there are some word count over there. Book length typically representing representing characters action with some degree of realism okay novel will be giving the imaginary thing but that will be based on some real uh, person or some real incidents okay but the name and other things can be imaginary okay and the novels of jane austen and other examples okay and uh, there are some other examples of novel in case of the novels, the what count? What count means how many words are there in a novel? Okay. If it becomes the question, the answer will be if you are writing the first novel, the general rule of thumb of the novel writing is a what count that is 80,000 to 1 lakh words. 80,000 to 1 lakh. That is, and for this reason, it has called the fictitious writing on book land. So 80,000 to 1 lakh. While anything over 40,000 words can fall into the novel category. So 40 to 50,000 is a considerable length of a novel. Okay. And novella short, shorter than uh, 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 novel. Okay. So everything will be same. So novel will be prose narrative. Novella will also be prose narrative, short story will also be prose narrative, but the difference will be based on the length. Novel will be more than 40,000 words. In case of novella, that would be 10,000 to 40,000. And 10,000 and 40,000 words will be novella and short story below 10,000. Okay, a short story, a fully developed theme. In case of short story, there is another difference. Okay, that is a fully developed theme will be there. One theme will be entertained in case of uh, no, uh, short story. What but uh, maybe, maybe, but generally, generally, there will have some uh, uh, different style, but you will have find one theme in case of novel and significantly shorter and less elaborate than a novel okay so in that category 5000 to 10000 word that would be the standard length of a short story okay so these are essay will be there and you know 
that literary criticism, literary criticism that uh, uh, depends on poetry, okay? Uh, Johnson's preface to Shakespeare, these are called literary criticism. So, these are the introductory species all on this course that is introduction to fiction or 20th century fictions. Okay. Let's move on to our another.